Hey Wolves, this week's Latinx highlight of the week um, highlights Janelle Martinez. Janelle Martinez is a Honduran American Afro-Latina journalist and creator of the blog Ain't I Latina. Her writing has appeared on Cosmopolitan for Latinas, NPR's Latino USA, HuffPost Live, Madame Noir, Black Enterprise, and others. Ain't I Latina is an online destination created by an Afro-Latina for Afro-Latinas. Due to the lack of representation in mainstream media, as well as in Spanish language media, Janelle Martinez created a space where millennial Latinas can celebrate their diversity. Martinez's blog is celebrated for her witty writing, insightful nuance, and much needed stories of being Afro-Latina. Already at age 30, she's a prolific writer whose work focuses on intersectionality. This has been this week's Latina Highlight of the Week. So in this week's Wolf Den message, the topics will be our new restroom procedures, um, the uh, spaces that are off limits, uh, our sports report, our Wolf Grub menu for Thursday and Friday, and our dad joke of the week. Uh, let me give a shout out, a big wolf howl to Miguel O, our seventh grader, who is also a prolific piano player. You gotta hear my man tickle those keys. Good work, Miguel. Love listening to your music, man. You got some mad skills. Keep up the good work. The quote is from Barbie, Barbie Garayua Tudrin, and she is a, um, a school counselor, very much like Ms. Hernandez. Here's what she says. When you take stories of adversity and flip them into stories of glory, of how the human spirit is able to overcome, even in the worst of circumstances, there is power that our students can stand to get from that. That is our quote of the week. Hey, would you rather, would you rather one, always talk in rhymes or two, sing instead of speak? What is it? Would you rather always talk in rhymes or sing instead of speak? Hey, when you see me today or later on, maybe tomorrow, let me know what would you rather do? So if you're observant, you might have noticed the new restroom procedure. So let me uh, give you um, a little insight onto what's happening. So for the foreseeable future, due to the continued vandalism taking place in the restrooms, there will no longer be soap dispensers or paper towels in the student restrooms. Instead, this is what you will do. So students will use the restroom. Uh, you will wash your hands using the outdoor wash stations. Use the paper towels from the outdoor wash stations as well. And be sure to dispose the paper towels in if they're assigned trash cans, usually standing right next to those wash stations. There is no reason, absolutely no reason whatsoever to have to place any paper towels in the wash stations themselves or on the ground. So make sure that you drop those in the trash receptacle standing right next to the paper towel. Doesn't take much effort. You've got this. So um, just a reminder, hey, please remember to remain in the quad until your dismissal bell rings. So please stay away from the one and 200 building doorways, uh, the 200 building bridge on the second floor, or, and the space between the one and 200 uh, buildings, which uh, where the purple trash cans, recycling bins are, that space is off limits when, uh, when the bell has not rung yet, okay? So make sure you stay in the quad in the grass area during lunch, you're free to go uh, over to the blacktop if you have your uniform on um, uh, or otherwise hang out in the common areas on the quad before your bell rings. Thank you.
So our Lady Wolves completed their season uh, last night. Um, probably by now you might have the results of their game last night. Um, as I am recording, they are playing right now. So I'm rooting for them as I'm recording. It's too late for you to root, but you know, hey, congratulations, Lady Wolves um, uh, for your hard work this season in volleyball. Uh, and, and thank you so much for trying out and going out there and giving it your best. Arru! Big howl to you. Also, our flag football team um, currently at this recording is two and one, has a two and one record. Um, they, as I'm recording, they are actually playing Robinson and uh, I'm rooting for them. It's too late for you to root for them, but you know. So uh, make sure you ask them to see how, they, how their season went and then congratulate them for going out there and giving it their best as well. Big wolf howl to you, Washington, um, Washington football team. Arru! Hey, wolf pups. So Thursday lunch, you'll be having chicken and mashed potato bowl. Mmm, chicken. I think it'd be better with pig, though, but never mind. Pepper Jack burgers. Oh, where's the bacon? Pizza salads, sandwiches, and parfait. On Friday, for breakfast, we have French toast sticks, cinnamon roll, yogurt with house-made granola. But what? No bacon? Pooey. On uh, Thursday, Friday for lunch, we have house-made chili cheese nachos, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, house-made spaghetti with meatballs, pizza sandwiches, and salads. Have a great lunch, everybody. So our dad joke of the day is, where can you always find a date? Listen closely. A calendar. Hey, wolves, let's remember that we are wolves who howl. We are humanitarians who overcome through wisdom and leadership. Let's go out there today and the remainder of this week and be uh, make this a better community because you are here. See you later.